Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you real quick with a haul from Deep Blick and kind of a preview of some reviews and ideas I have coming up and hopefully to get your input and hear what you kind of want to see and what you want, I guess, just, yeah, what, what ideas you have. I'm missing. The first thing I'm going to talk about is some open stock pencils I got from Dick Blick. So anyone else who's bought open stock pencils, leave a holla if you had a problem. So I got some and just because of the way Blick packages them, I had one that like the lead completely chipped off. I was a little upset, but it sharpened up okay and I'm pretty sure that it's it's all right inside the actual lead. But um, it just, it upsets me. It frazzles my behind. So, especially because, you know, they get costly. I bought some Ink Tense pencils. I have a 24 set. I'm sort of wishing I had bought the 72 piece because I really like it. But I think it's probably for the best because I just will end up avoiding colors I didn't really want anyways. So, I've been, I bought a about six open stock. At Blick, they were, at the time, I think $1.78. These are really great, very, very vibrant, very pigmented, and they're waterproof when they're done. So I kind of like that. So the next thing I got is the Albrecht Durer from Faber-Castell. These are also a water-soluble pencil. And you'll actually notice if you... A lot of my water-soluble media is just that it's water-soluble. It it's not necessarily watercolor. And that's just a personal preference. But my understanding with these, and from what I've experimented with them thus far, I've seen that that's true. So I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. But... Basically, I bought six open stock to see how I would like these. Now, in another order from Jerry's, I also bought some Kiran Museum Aquarelle. And these are so beautiful. I mean it. They're made from baby dragon scales and unicorn tears. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. They're so awesome. So incredibly awesome. Awesome. I have heard these referred to as the Cadillac of water-soluble pencils in a review. And if these are a Cadillac, these are a Lamborghini. Oh my god, they're so beautiful and the lay down on them is ridiculous. But I really like these. I will be getting more. And you might be like, well, if you've got the ones, but you got these, why do you want that? Well, because they all lay down slightly differently. They all have slightly different colors. And just for different things, you may want a slightly different look. And so I like to have a good variety of different brands so that I have options to choose from because I have found once I really get to know a product that maybe it applies one way I really like but maybe I want to you know or maybe I want to mix and match so I just really like to have the option of having multiple brands it's just a personal choice you're free to just really love your own whatever brand but I, I like to play I like to have options so if you can think of any brands you think I would enjoy and want to try let me know in the, the comment section below because I do enjoy trying new brands so and I intend to get some QR watercolor at some point so really excited about that now what I've done is maybe a little crazy but I've swatched out all my open stock pencils and well these open stock pencils and so I just kinda of thought I would show you these because when they do graphic representations of the colors they're not always 100% accurate as I'm sure someone out there may agree with me because I've noticed that and I'll talk about a couple of things that I even ordered in this order that the graphic representation was not really super accurate but I mean I'm not upset at it honestly I probably like it better so I'm just gonna go through real quick the colors that I got in this order and I just want to kind of give you a visual so that if you're interested in them, you can look at them. Now, these are my Caran d'Ache ones that are swatched out here. I do have additional Caran d'Ache ones in a big box, but uh, this is the Ink Tense in the color Cherry. It is just a beautiful, really bright, vibrant cherry. Ink Tense in Red Violet. Ink Tense in Sienna Gold. I really like this color. Ink Tense in Peacock Blue. Ink Tense in Iron Blue. And this is the Faber Castell Albrecht Dürer. In Indian Red, the Faber-Castell Albert Durer in uh, mang Manganese Violet, I believe. Manganese Violet, sorry. And Faber-Castell in Brown Ochre, Light Cobalt Turquoise, Helio Turquoise, Bluish Turquoise, and Chrome Oxide Green. Yes, I really like turquoise. Plus, what I did and what I decided to do is I looked at what colors were available in the Faber-Castell sets, and I just thought, okay... 
if I could afford the, the biggest set I would want with the colors I see, I want I would pick colors that were not in that set basically. That were not in that. So that's how I did it. I figured I wanted to get colors that I would probably use or want to try open stock and then if I really like it I'll go back and get the 36 piece set or the 60 or the 12, 24 whatever it is. So that was kind of my thought behind buying these colors. I have swatched them out. I have played with them. I really like them. They're just so much fun. I just, I really enjoy playing with, yeah, my colors. What can I say? I mean, I'm a kid. It's like crayons for grown-ups. I don't know. So the next thing I bought is not real exciting, but it's the Prismacolor Premier Colorless Blender. I've been trying out different blenders. This is just kind of the newest one. I'm only going to keep one of these, but one I am going to send home because my mother actually um, does colored pencil drawings as well as oil and acrylic and watercolor, and she's a much better artist than I am. But I thought I would send this home. It would be fun for her to play with. So yeah. you got to share the love when you can. I got the Liquitex Acrylic Ink. Thalo Green, the yellow shade. I was very excited about this because I had Thalo Green, the blue shade, and it's just a beautiful dark. But this is just like a really bright, vibrant green. I'm not sure it's coming across, but I'm really excited to have that. I love, love my acrylic inks. But Liquitex, why won't you make more than 30 colors? You make like 75 colors of acrylic markers that you do not make freaking refills for but you only make three colors of acrylic ink that I can indeed pour into them but it just what uh, does anyone else see the lack of logic is it just me it probably is such is life the next thing I got is a liquid frisket kit this is something I have been wanting for a little while it's by I think it's by graphics graphics liquid frisket kit and so basically what you do is you use this little thing and it's called a dipstick I'm not joking <laughs> so I'm very easily amused I have essentially the sense of humor of a 12 year old so you use the dipstick and you dip it in I'm not gonna not be able to laugh and say it you use the dipstick and you dip it into the frisket and you put it on your painting, drawing, whatever. Ideally it needs to be an extremely smooth surface is my understanding that this works best on the frisket. So uh, I don't, I have heard of people using this on canvas, I'm just not sure I'm going to, but I will use it on my hot pressed paper and some of my smoother papers. So the next thing is, is kind of a preview of a little review. Yes, I rhyme. I'm good like that. My idea is, is basically, I really have been digging the spray paint. If you watch a couple hauls ago, I got an intermixability kit from Jiri's Artorama and it had baby little cans of spray paint, little baby cans. And they are awesome. Since then, I have gotten another spray paint kit available at my Michaels and it had 250 milliliter cans, awesome. And since that time, I have bought full size cans because I really like them. Uh, they are professional grade acrylic. They're light fast. They're permanent. They're weathering. Um, they're made for indoor outdoor, not indoor outdoor use, but you can use it indoor and outdoor. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but you know what I mean. You can use it on artwork indoors or outdoors as long as it's a well ventilated area. So I wanted to get something that was kind of comparable and do a comparison between the two different brands. And I have had my eye on this brand for quite a while. So I wanted to make sure I was comparing kind of quality, the, the, the similar quality levels, I guess, to each other. So I went and I got some Montana Gold Acrylic Professional Spray Paint. Now this is matte. These are amazing. They come in over 200 colors, more than Liquitex. They are permanent, long wearing. I think they're light fast, weathering, blah, blah, blah. They're amazing. This is one that a lot of graffiti artists really like to use. They have a whole bunch of different caps, which I have coming. Liquitex also makes different styles of caps, and the different caps basically kind of give you different effects when you use the spray paint. What I will probably do, because I love my camera and I just can't afford to replace it, and it's attached to my laptop, so that's out. I will probably do kind of the boards like I did before with the experiment. Some of the experiments I've done where I look at like, acrylic markers etc etc and spray them and do like a little piece of artwork or something with it 
and kind of do a comparison and pros and cons and have those listed out for y'all. Because yes, I otherwise I'd be like filming my airbrushing all the time because I love to airbrush. I, I'm a big fan of airbrush painting. I, anyhow, so I got Montana Gold acrylic pro, professional acrylic spray paint. I got blood orange, and this is kind of what I was talking about when I said the graphic color representation was not exactly really on the mark for it because it it's called blood orange, but it actually the graphic representation, at least to my eye and the way I perceive that color, was a lot lot more orange. And this is really, and see, and I look in the viewfinder, it comes across orange, but it's actually very, very red with an undertone of orange. It's that color that a lot of ladies like to wear in summertime. It's that really bright red with an undertone of orange. It's gorgeous. I'm actually probably happier it's this color than the color that was represented. So really thrilled it worked out well, but yeah. Then I got the color Cherry Blossom, which is this beautiful purpley color. Very excited about that. And then a green apple. So, and like I said, if you're really interested in like professional grade acrylic spray paint, if your Michaels doesn't sell li Liquitex, also don't buy it unless it's on sale and you have an additional coupon off sale percentage. I'm just saying. Because the cheapest I've seen it in an actual store in the U.S., is $9.93 and then what I did is I had a 25% off coupon in addition on top of the sale price so that's how I bought mine because otherwise I wouldn't spend that but these were $7.75 on Blick I don't know what they'll be in your country I believe Montana is a German brand and they come with the standard German caps but like I said I have a couple of the um, gosh I think they're called standard caps but like one through six I have coming I think I picked one two three I skipped four and I went to five and six because I looked at those and I wasn't that into it and I got a calligraphy tip which I was psyched about. But I'm really excited to try these out, do some artwork, play with them, and then kind of show y'all and share my thoughts and do a review. So last but certainly not least, I bought paper. I know, it's so exciting. So what I did is I bought some of the Fabriano Studio watercolor hot press paper, 90 pounds. I didn't get 140 because I taped my stuff down anyways, and even if it's 140, it's going to buckle. I wanted hot press because I like it smooth, and it's just a personal preference. I do actually, I, I shouldn't say that. I do like a toothy paper uh, sometimes, but I really wanted to get this, and it was a good deal. I mean, that's 75 sheets. And so I'm going to uh, give some to my mom and sister as well because I they are currently using Strathmore drawing paper and then like tinted paper. I don't remember. But I figured this would just be fun to change it up and let them try something different. So, you know, it's all good. And then last but not least, I got an 11 by 14 of Strathmore 300 Bristol paper. This is the smooth and... I have heard a lot of airbrush artists actually really enjoy this paper, so I sort of wanted to try it out and see how I liked it. So, And I know a lot of people use it for charcoal and marker and all sorts of, it's a really good kind of pretty, pretty well all-purpose paper. So excited to try that and give it a shot, see how I like it. I do love my paper. I recently got some Terra Skin in the last couple of months, and I've been trying that out. I've, I've done two paintings. I don't feel like I've really done enough with it to know about it, but it's wicked. If you get a chance, Google that Terra skin because it's actually made of stone. So it's kind of weird. Weird feeling. That's the only description I can give you. It's weird. But I like it so far. So that's all of my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I am a mixed media artist, so if you can think of anything you think I would kind of enjoy trying products-wise, let me know in the comments below. If you have any requests for reviews or there's things you want to see or, you know, kind of things like that. If you want to see some more swatches, I'm happy to do that. So I hope you all have a good day. Oh, please do me a huge favor. Like this video and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.